Rookie's such a good dog, RJ. Sometimes I wish I could take Rhinozilla for a walk like this. He is pretty great, aren't you, Rook? <laughs> Sounds like Rookie agrees. He's a smart pup. Come on, Rookie. Let's go. Come on. Hmm. Looks like Rookie might have some fleas. Fleas? What? How do you know? He's itching like crazy. There are probably fleas biting him. Oh, poor Rook. Why are those mean fleas biting you? It's just symbiosis, RJ. Symbiosis? Yeah, symbiosis. The relationship between two organisms in a community. The fleas bite Rookie because they need him for food. They're eating him? Symbiosis doesn't seem like a good relationship for Rookie. Well, in this case, it's not. There are three types of symbiosis. This type is called parasitism. Parasitism only benefits one organism and harms the other organism. Rookie has parasites? The fleas are parasites that get their food by living on or inside another animal or plant. Rookie is their host. It's pretty common. Barnacles on whales are parasites too. And so are ticks. Tapeworms are parasites that live inside animals and eat the food that the animals digest. Gross! I'm no fan of symbiosis. There are other types of symbiosis, RJ. Not all are bad, like commensalism. How is commensalism better? In commensalism, one organism benefits and the other organism is not harmed, like that bird living in the tree right there. The tree is a home for the bird, but the bird's nest doesn't hurt the tree at all. That flower climbing up the side of the tree is an example too. It's using the tree to help reach more sunlight, but the tree doesn't mind. Sounds better than parasitism. Definitely. And mutualism is even better. When something is mutual, doesn't that mean it's shared? Yeah, it goes both ways. Mutualism is a type of symbiosis where both organisms benefit. Sort of like a friendship in nature. One of the coolest examples of mutualism ever is the relationship of a bird called the Egyptian plover with crocodiles. Instead of attacking the bird, the crocodile lets it eat the parasites that live on its body. The crocodile even opens up its mouth and lets the bird eat the parasites there. This helps the crocodile get rid of the parasites and helps the bird eat. Wow, crocodiles are pretty scary. I can't believe they let the bird pick around on them like that. Right? That bee and flower are a good example too. Oh yeah, the bee helps pollinate the flower and the flower gives the bee pollen to make honey. That's pretty mutual. Yep, see, symbiosis isn't all bad. Nah, it's not always such a bad deal. At first, I thought the only kind of symbiosis was parasitism, like Rookie's fleas. But there are different types of symbiotic relationships where organisms interact with each other in different ways. Yeah, symbiosis is just the relationship between two organisms living together in an environment. The three types of symbiosis are parasitism, mutualism, and commensalism. Poor Rookie is a host in a parasitic relationship with the fleas. The other two types of symbiosis are a better deal. Commensalism is cool because one organism benefits, but the other isn't harmed. And mutualism is pretty much shared. Both organisms benefit from mutualism. Sounds like your relationship with symbiosis has come a long way. Even Rookie agrees. I know what else Rookie will agree to. What's that? A flea collar. How's that sound, Rook?